Do not suppose, you Greeks, that my separation from your customs is unreasonable and unthinking, for I found in them nothing that is holy or acceptable to God. For the very compositions of your poets are monuments of madness and intemperance. For anyone who becomes the scholar of your most eminent instructor is more beset by difficulties than all men besides. For first they say that Agamemnon, abetting the extravagant lust of his brother and his madness and unrestrained desire, readily gave even his daughter to be sacrificed and troubled all Greece that he might rescue Helen, who had been ravished by the leprous shepherd. But when in the course of the war they took captives, Agamemnon was himself taken captive by Chryseis, and for Brasace's sake kindled a feud with the son of Thetis, and Pelides himself, who crossed the river, overthrew Troy and subdued Hector. This your hero became the slave of Polyxena, and was conquered by a dead Amazon, and putting off the god-fabricated armor and donning the hymeneal robe, he became a sacrifice of love in the temple of Apollo, and the Ithacan Ulysses made a virtue of a vice, and indeed his sailing past the sirens gave evidence that he was destitute of worthy prudence, because he could not depend on his prudence for stopping his ears. Ajax, son of Telamon, who bore the shield of sevenfold oxhide, went mad when he was defeated in the contest with Ulysses for the armor. Such things I have no desire to be instructed in. Of such virtue I am not covetous that I should believe the myths of Homer. For the whole rhapsody, the beginning and end both of the Iliad and the Odyssey is a woman. <laughs>